Hey everybody, Instant Hero here, and welcome back to Life is Strange Season 3. Hey, in the last episode, we were in the pool, uh, getting our illicit swim on. Hey, and I hope you guys like the video intro. I just made that over this weekend, and uh, let's just say I hate rendering 3D. It takes way, way, way too long. But without further ado, it's going to be a little bit of a long episode, so let's get to it. just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. That's because she did. with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Uh-oh. Hi! Where do I go? We have to go now. Make sure you cover the whole You're shitting me? Uh oh. Uh oh. Deputy Dickhead. Man, that guy. Uh oh. He just saw the door shut. Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Hello? Oh, so terrible at this. Hello? Anybody there? He's gonna catch me! Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. Who's here? I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. game really dark or is it just me? Come on, let's go. We are so invisible. Yeah. We're so sneaky. Not at all. Man, I hope I don't have to turn the brightness up on this one. Alright, we're out of the pool. What do we do now? Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Well, use the parking lot. This is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Okay. Into the car. Sounds like a good plan to me. Let's do it. Yes, we so are. Man. Oh, coffee. Yeah, so I'm keeping the commentary to a minimum today. I got allergies, so my throat is all scratchy. So if I'm not coming in super, super clear, that's totally the fault of some sort of weird plant that grows in the summer and annoys the hell out of me. So, But here we are in bed. No showers after swimming. Very bad for your skin. Use lotion. Use lotion, kids. It's good for you. Nope. 
Always remember this moment. Because selfies are important. Welcome to Selfie oh, Simulator 2000. Oh, God. It feels like, like a different world, world from yesterday. You left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Mm. Like, like it needs mm. another one. Good coffee. I'd, I'd like, like to do something, something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Are we still on the even photo? Even the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel and pay Frank off, I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up, but I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the school girl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Well, then get up and get to school. Yep, no, stay, stay in school, kids. Don't skip school. It's not good for you. Oh, I guess I have to interact. Oh, um, oh. Okay. I need to get dressed now. Well, we should probably find some clothes then. Uh oh. Let's see. Open the drawer. Get I on the floor. I don't think I'll be washing today. No? Oh, got a journal from. See. Blah, blah, blah. I'm former principal Wells. I saw Nathan leaving a gun in the bathroom. Saw that. So my school day started with an apocalyptic dream. I should go downstairs and eat breakfast. Oh man, maybe the closet. Welcome to Dressing Still Simulator 2000. Not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. Whatever, you'll live. Do we have some clothes around here? Can we get some clothes? Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Yep, we put a bunch of stickers on it. I remember. Oh, man. Wow, what? sir. That, that was my 10th birthday. birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept, kept this stuff. Everybody keeps photos. What do you mean you don't remember? Alright. No. There we go. Close. Get dressed. Ugh, it. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. Oh. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I was just there. Man, come on. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Let's get dressed. Come on, open. Get something to dress. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop dun, dun, second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? Oh, hot girl on girl action. Kiss me now. Oh, man. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's in a girl and girl action. Oh, I called it. You're such a dork. Alright. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Yes. Challenge accepted, I believe, was the phrase we were looking for. Looking sick? 
Max? A couple of tats, some piercings, and we'll make a fresh out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? Free breakfast. Wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Don't do drugs, kids. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Drugs are bad. Alright. Go downstairs, get breakfast. Oh. Wallet? The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Don't be a dummy. That doesn't even rhyme. Who thought of that? That don't rhyme. Alright, let's go out the door. I've had enough of walking around Simulator 2000. Alright. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. Oh, what do we got here? I'm on your side. Luxo, talk to you later. Max, thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're blah, blah, blah. Hey, Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can. Promise. Uh, didn't Warren send me a text? Yeah, he sent me a text. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the tickets now. Okay, I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can back out now. Okay. I don't... I didn't respond to him. Is that a bad thing? Alright. It's like when we were kids here. Yep. Enough reminiscing. At least the loading screens aren't long on this one. You know, it's like GTA 5 where you spend the majority of your life in the uh, loading screens. Alright, come on. We're not looking at any more photos. Let's get some breakfast. Hi, Joyce. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean Max, oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. And God knows how to hell raise like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Oh, eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bacon. Totally. We wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. Oh, task-oriented gameplay. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. All right. Well, refrigerator open. Man. I should evolve and become a vegan, but oh, bacon. What vegan is so unhealthy? Why would you do that to yourself? Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce. But we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or... Wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? No way. What? Uh, no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, <coughs> just a different one. Excuse me. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. I just wish you could have stopped Chloe from getting busted by David for that joint. I know. Oh, are you going like to bring that up again? We pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me, what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. Only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. You got it. Eggs and bacon. Alright. <laughs> Chair. Sit. Man, this game's a little bit tedious. I never really noticed before. 
Let's look at some stuff. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Oh, uh, peanut butter. What? Look. I'm glad that's creamy. Thank you so much, Joyce. Whoa. I'm never leaving this table. All right. Good. good. You can clean. Oh. Plate. Eat it up. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. What? What are we doing here? Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Flash snow and freak eclipse. Apocalypse soon. Superheroine saves suicidal Blackwell student. All right. Can we can we get up? Can we get up? Can we get up? Are we done eating? Oh, come on. Let me up off the thing. Seeing you again. Oh, oh made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Plot twist. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And... Sad moment. I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Nope, here she comes. Did Baked. you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run up and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Uh oh. What are we doing in the garage do now? Need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. All right. No shit. It needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Oh man. Oh, do 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 do. Padlock. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. Seven one seven one. Useful password. Nothing in it. Nothing to see here. What? Corned beef? Right there. Corned beef and crackers? What'd you talk about? Nothing to see. Uh-oh. Maybe I could try Stepdad for the password. Love Stepdad. Arcadia Bay. Alright. What else we got? Anything else? Uh, there's a book. Looks, Looks like, like David has read this a lot. lot. What did he learn? A veteran's guide. Coming back home. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car.
Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. But it might be a useful password. Which part? Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. All right, we got anything else to check? I think. Oh, here's a bag right here. Let's check the bag. That's cute. Could be a password here. All right. We're going to have to do some rewindy time. I think we got all the clues. Let's go army. Try again. Oh, man. We're going to try all of them. Oh, shit balls. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. That's right. Ah! Magic 8-Ball says no. Uh, let's try this one. Oh! Score! Score! Max the hacker strikes again. He's gonna... Whoa. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Alright. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Oh, wait. I already Rachel this. definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Alright. There we go. And the computer's locked. Let's go back. Uh, door, door, door. Where am I looking for the door? Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. What about security cameras? They should put them up all over the school. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Uh, now, we gotta side with Chloe this time, because last time we sided with David. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? 
Yes, David, why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. Dun dun dun! I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day, Chloe. For once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. She'll be fine. And on that note, we are done for today. Man, I totally thought that was Answer Simulator 2000. Uh, not an exciting episode, but hey, next one might pick up. We'll get through this thing, muddle through. Um, but until next time, I'll see y'all later.